So I have two disruptors out here and each one's a little bit different. So the first one here is the copper 420 gram black disposable disruptor. It shoots a wad of powdered copper. And this one over here, the blue one, is also disposable and it fires what it says is iron and clay. I'm just curious what that looks like when it makes an impact. So we're gonna fire both of them off against this concrete wall. Let's see if this blue one does something different. I am expecting a, a splash of copper though from this black one. Fire in a hole in three, two, one. I can tell where the black one hit. This was the one that had the copper powdered slug. Oddly enough, I don't see any copper on it. And I don't know if that's because it hit and completely blasted that area away, taking the copper with it. Uh, this one over here, this definitely was the, the clay and steel. This one right here. At least that's what the paper that was with it said. For all I know, it should have been filled with water. But something came out and chipped this concrete right here. Remember, with disruptors, the idea is not to cause a high order detonation. So I know it's a little anticlimactic watching these things go off, but that's because they're precision tools. And the guys that know what they're doing and know how to use these things can effectively use these to take an IED that otherwise would destroy a community, a building, and disrupt it so that they can go in there and investigate it and remove that stuff safely from that area and then hopefully find the perpetrator that set it up in the first place.